Hi guys, welcome back to the layout in the shop. I'm out here tonight running a new engine that I just got. Uh, something I've been waiting on for at least a year, um, or almost a year, not quite a year. And that's one of the little Atlas Shays, and uh, that's what you see running around there. Uh, I promise I'll get the, the macro lens out in just a minute and show you that thing up close because it's really, really cool. Anyway, I wanted to give you kind of an overview of the, of the layout right now. Um, got a few new buildings done. Uh, there's a mine area over here. Uh, it's just kind of sitting here. There's moved a tunnel over here. There's going to be a tunnel over here now. Uh, water tower and the, build, the uh, station's here. Station's finished. I just re-roofed it and repainted it. I've got one, two, three little buildings out here in the town. And I've got two others to make. Uh, the kits for them that are these two that came from Christmas. Uh, and then I decided to put a cut back there. But actually, what's really going to happen is that uh, I'm going to redo everything because my wife and I are looking at buying a new house. And the new house might have some more room. And if there's more room, I might be able to make a bigger layout. Now, if that's the case, I'm probably going to pull everything up and start all over again. Uh, well, that sounds crazy because it looks pretty good to start with, but uh, hey, if I can have more room than just to run around, I'll do it. And maybe, uh, you know, two cities, uh, point to point, or towns with a point to point, uh, and maybe some industry in between. So we'll just see how much room the uh, land office allots me, <laughs> the land boss allots me. Uh, so let's uh, get in real close and take a look at the little Atlas Shea and uh, show you what that looks like with the drivetrain running and everything. We'll see if we can get that. All right, hold on just a second. Okay, guys, there's the little. Uh, a little shay here you can see um, let me turn the focus there we go uh, and you can see the wonderful little drive train on this thing um, little pistons down here um, just like the real thing three pistons just like the real thing linkage and even has the little round um, bits there in the universal joints uh, and the square piece there in the middle exactly like the real thing I've been up to uh, Cass, West Virginia at least twice now and seen the real deal. There's a three truck chaise. They have another one uh, back in the back here. They have another tender effectively is what it comes down to, but it's also connected to the drivetrain just like the others. This little thing is a cool model. My intention is to get rid of these letters here and re-letter re it for my own railroad uh, at some point, but I really like it. Uh, it runs great. And it looks very prototypical of an engine. I think that somebody said it was just a little big for it. But uh, let me see if I can get it to like slow crawl for you. So you can see what it looks like with those wonderful pistons going. There you go. Go real slow for you. We'll come back across here. There she comes back. There you can see everything turning and moving up and down. Just beautiful. Well done. And just goes right across here. Real smooth, slow creep on this thing. So I am more than happy. We'll run her back a little bit faster. Shades are not very fast. Um, and you can run this one thing all out if you want to, but it looks silly if you do. <coughs> it's not prototypical at all. Uh, not that I'm a prototypical typical stickler but <clears throat> it's still you know if you're gonna do this you may as well run one of these right <clears throat> and uh, it has a good little clicking sound to it now I'm gonna back it up and run it by a little bit faster and see if you can hear uh, the clicking sound I'll shut up and let you listen to it um, going a little faster all right here it comes Oh, it seems to be clicking less now as it breaks in. Uh, this is really its first maiden run here. Um, there you go. Anyway, so this is the little Atlas Shea. It does have directional headlights, so this one was on when it's going forward. There's a little one back here, it's on when it goes backwards. I might also remove it and change this from an oil tender to a coal tender, like uh, much like the ones at Cass. I just think that's more prototypical. I like it better. Um, and my layout's running coal for the most part on all of its engines. Uh, so other than that, you know, 
maybe a little bit of dirtying it up, but I think it's so pretty I probably won't do anything with it for a long time. So uh, anyway, there's the new the new power on the uh, Silver Creek layout, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. We'll move around and take maybe a beauty shot of this little fella going across the uh, the bridge there for you real quick, and I uh, hope you enjoy it. Thanks. Freight train, freight train, going so fast. Freight train, freight train, going so fast. Please don't tell what train I'm on, so you know where I'm going. When I'm gone, just bury me deep, way down on Old Chestnut Street, so I can hear old number nine as she goes rolling. Don't tell what train I'm on so they